Uh, it's quite simple. I just, I just love it. I love the Ryder Cup. I love the the format. I love the, you know, the the relationships you build with uh, with your fellow players. So it's just, uh, it's just so different. And you know, being a team event instead of individual that we play every every other week, um, it just uh, it just feels so different. And, and you know, that's some of the reasons why uh, why I love it. I've been fortunate to play to play many, and and all of them are, are special and, and and incredible. In Paris was uh, was amazing. The combination of the course, the weather, the crowds, uh, the build-up to it, uh, everything, and and then how how well we all played, you know, it kind of it kind of made it for for an amazing week. There it is, Garcia, currently half a point behind Nick Faldo. He's about to overtake him as the most successful Ryder Cup golfer of all time. More points than anyone else. That's lovely for Sergio, but the main thing he'll tell you is that he's part of a European winning team once again. To be able to win the Ryder Cup again and achieve being the highest uh, point scorer ever in the in the history of the Ryder Cup, you know, it meant so much. When it happened, uh, I didn't think about it until pretty much it happened, but when it happened, obviously it meant a lot because it meant that uh, I surpassed my childhood, my childhood heroes, and. Uh, some unbelievable players, so it was extremely special to to be able to achieve that and to do it against a good friend of mine like like Ricky. It was it was even more special. 